All right. In J God we trust. Warzone 2 confirmed. What's going to happen, J God? Some interesting news about Very the next two Call of Duty titles as well as Warzone 2 yep. coming in 2023 and how that Tell will be us impacted your secrets, by old gen and next gen as well as PC and the whole cross-play part of that. Enjoy the video. Hit the like button. If you brand new want to find your way back, subscribe with notifications on. It says new Activision mm -hmm. is committed to releasing at least the next three Call of Duty games on PlayStation even after the Xbox acquisition. According to people familiar with the deal, Call of Duty 2022 and 2023, uh -huh. as well as Warzone 2 in 2023. Wait, 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 wait. I thought we weren't doing annual COD releases anymore. I thought we weren't doing annual COD releases. Also, his sponsors are Control Freak, Steel Series, G Fuel, Control, Gamer Advantage, and 1v1 Me, by the way. That's what's behind my webcam. So, we are doing yearly... And after releases. that, it's hazier. After 2020, okay. It's guaranteed there will be gotcha. a console launch for PlayStation as well as Xbox. And they'll both be at cost, probably gotcha. 60 bucks or whatever it is. They're going to have it for the next two games. And then Warzone 2 will be available. Doesn't say if that's going to be old gen or new gen, but we'll talk a little bit about some of the leaks regarding okay. that. Once you get into this article. So earlier this week, Activision got bought out by 69. Xbox for $69 billion. Nice. Dollars. And it says Activision has already committed to make the next few Call of Duty games available on Sony console, according to four people with knowledge of okay. the deal, speaking anonymously because they were not authorized to speak to the press, yet they did. So that's kind of a leak in its own way. That includes this year's title, Call of Duty. Expected to be the new entry in the popular Modern Warfare sub-series being developed by Infinity Release War. MW2. It's all already rumored to be Modern Warfare 2, which should get a lot of people excited because I think the modern theme is going to be solid, and then they'll be able to stop going to World War 2, God damn it, to, and kind of copy what we've already Enough. seen with Modern Warfare, and then maybe elevate that just a little bit more. Following game, which is developed by Treyarch, so Cold War 2, whatever the heck they're going to call that, both Activision-owned studios. The deal is also to include to plan the new iteration of Call of Duty Warzone, which we'll call Warzone 2, the lucrative free-to-play game that was released in 2020. So it's like a three-year life cycle. Does that mean that this is going to launch in March? And then this is going to be the new engine? Or God, I hope so. And then Tired of this shit. Four months later, they're going to actually have the new Call of Duty, or they're going to launch it all at once. Uh, because if they launch the new game in November like they normally do, that means that the, the first Warzone 2 would be on the Treyarch title, which I don't think makes as much sense. I think that I saw a dog Warzone in the background this year in November or October, maybe a little earlier. And then a couple months later, maybe in March on the anniversary of Warzone, we'll go ahead and get a brand new version of Warzone called Warzone 2 with a new map and fully integrated weapons that kind of vault to everything before that i would imagine they would stick with like the holiday release because the holiday season is just there's too much money to be made in the holiday season right oh god jimbo call of duty 2022 ukrainian conflict oh shit i would imagine they're gonna release it in holiday season right there's no way that i wouldn't think that they wouldn't there's just too much money to be made from the christmas like the christmas boom so I would imagine they're going to release it around November per use. Oh shit. And then they'll re they'll launch the next Warzone iteration or they'll just launch the new iteration of Warzone alongside I think that might that might be the best. That might be the best way to do it is to announce the new Warzone holiday season with with the new Call of Duty. Like, all right, Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2 remaster, reskin, refucked. Re give me your money, please. I don't know. That's what I would imagine would happen. Be on Warzone 1 if you want to play Warzone 1. And Fuck Warzone that. 2, Brick Warzone 1. You shut it down. And those things that we're going to see in Modern Warfare 2. But we'll kind of see how that works. Phil Spencer, who was recently appointed Chief Executive Officer Gaming, said last week that he had spoken to Sony leadership about the franchise. I confirmed our intent to honor our existing agreements upon active acquisition of Activision Blizzard and our desire to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation. He said on Twitter, Sony is an important part of the industry and we value their relationship. Hell no! Easy way of saying, 
these games sell way too well on console yeah, they ain't shutting that shit consoles, down for us to just let that money slip away even though they're probably gonna add call of duty their game pass and that's gonna encourage so many people to jump over since essentially those games yeah will be fuck free, you playstation um as long as you have that subscription traditionally call of duty games have been make released xbox, on xbox straight PC again and playstation where they drive substantial sales call of duty games have recently been heavily promoted on playstation store and have been tied to massive marketing deals in Correct. recent years Every game in the annual franchise ranks among the top-selling games on PS4 and PS5. Yeah. Call of Duty games has been the best-selling titles in the U.S. each of the last three years, according to the NPD group. For at least the next two years, Microsoft is committing to releasing Call of Duty on PlayStation and said neither Sony nor Activision responded to requests on comment. Microsoft declined to comment, obviously, because this was behind the scenes uh insider yeah, they info. couldn't really Plans announce what the fuck they're doing call of duty games further out said the people familiar with the matter microsoft said it expect to acquisition to close sometime in the next six to 18 months because it has to go through the court system um so it doesn't qualify necessarily as a monopoly because there are other game competitors out there after which it will so be wait aren't there a bunch of or aren't isn't there like some uproar isn't there some uproar about people saying that this Microsoft purchase of Activision is kind of sussy baka. So I wonder... I wonder if that transaction will be delayed if those people, the Twitter peoples, who say they're going to investigate it are actually going to do it. I wonder if that's going to slow this shit down and change anything. <laughs> Uh, able to decide whether to continue releasing future Call of Duty games on PlayStation because it could be Xbox exclusive, exclusive. So it'd be either PC or Xbox. And if you're on PlayStation, you're kind of out. I don't think that'll happen because they make so oh, much money no from way. it. But we'll see Cut how your that profits goes. Top and have Activision have also discussed facing out Call of Duty releases rather than putting Please, them out Please, God. Year, Bloomberg has reported. So what this means is that we're going to go ahead and get the Modern Warfare 2 title which is expected, and then we may or may not get a delay on the Treyarch title that's going to come out. And maybe we'll have Modern Warfare 2 for two years. Warzone 2 will essentially be for a year and a half before it actually gets integrated with the Treyarch title and adds those weapons because that is the business model going forward that we'll have old Warzone, which includes all these versions of the game, and then the brand new one won't get integrated into this game. It's going to say, hey, you know what? Warzone 2 is dropping in March. That's when you're going to be able to use all these Modern Warfare 2 weapons in the game. So we might be on Caldera for quite a while. And maybe we get a little bit of a facelift towards the Modern Warfare 2 release. Where it kind of updates the map the same way we saw with Cold War with the uh, Verdansk 84. Which really wasn't a change. Yeah. It slightly uh, changed to, to the okay, game. Okay, um, so potential problem, right? Potential problem. If it, so, we're getting away from the annual releases, and we're not going. And it's going to be like every two years, going to be biannual. So, or does that mean two in one year? Every two years, damn it! Every two years is going to be a new COD. So, does that mean there's just going to be a shitload more? There's just, so there's just going to be a shitload more battle passes that we get until the next game, and they're going to have to come up with new guns. So how is that going to work with a retro title like Modern Warfare 2 where they had like a fixed number of guns? So they're going to add new guns that weren't with the original game and then we're just going to use those in order to like tide us over with content until the next Call of Duty comes out and the next integration comes into the next or into Warzone 2. So hopefully they would make more maps DLC because money, right? Yeah, I know, but like now that this that this new title is overarching multiple other titles, I wonder how they're gonna bridge that gap of mul not only multiple titles but multiple years leading up to the title. Like how are they get like that's a content drought? Like how how are you gonna keep players locked in? Because people were already pissed after one year with uh, Verdansk. They were like, dude, something new. We need something new. Spice it up. Change it up. Then we got Cold War. And then we got Miami Vice Verdansk. So I wonder what they're going to do. I wonder if that's just like, all right, well, we're going to keep the same battle pass system. And we're just going to have more of them because it's going to be over a larger duration. 
And then at, at same thing with those battle passes, we're going to release a new gun per battle pass. So that out, that would add like, you know, six or seven new gun, maybe 10 guns into Modern, like Modern Frontier, whatever the next title is. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Mechanic. And that brings us to Tom, Tom Henderson, which is a well-known leak for multiple games. And almost like 99, 95% of what they've said in the past eventually comes true. They have some kind of insider this information. This dude leaks everything Battlefield. He was like the first guy to break Battle. Like when Battlefield was not doing so well, he was like, nah, dude, this game's not going to do great. And then he also was the first to release or to break like battlefields frustrations and things they were changing which then turned out to be true he was also the first person to say that battlefield was going to go free to play so we'll see if that comes true that will lead this to being factual it's very rare that they get something wrong so we kind of got to go all right it's a leak so it's not 100 percent confirmed but this guy usually isn't wrong he says warzone 2 is literally that warzone 2 current gen and pc only so no past weapons no past gen so it'll only be ps5 and the, the newest version of xbox as well as pc so if you're on old gen you'll still probably be able to play regular warzone it'll probably stop getting updated and whatever happens happens you can use all your blueprints all your old weapons all the weapons that we're currently using will be available on that title but then this will be warzone 2 which will likely only have the modern warfare 2 weapons and then once Trayer Cod drops, then we'll be able to have access to that. But we'll see how that, that pans out. I think they're just going to copy and paste exactly what we did with Modern Warfare, where it came out in November or whatever, early Oct yeah, October. Exactly. And then five months later in March, it ended up Makes dropping sense to Warzone me. on March 10th. A completely new game for better hardware. I'm excited to find out more and how all this is going to work. This is what's, this is like, this is the, ah, what are you going to do? We're going to see no past weapon integrations at all. You kept people around when it was new. What about when it's not new anymore? What about when it's not brand spanking new? I don't know. And we'll see if any other BR step up. It's good. This is good until it's not good. And then it's not good at all. And then you're nine months in using the same guns over and over. Or they're just... Hmm. Or they're going to add new guns to Modern Warfare 2. And they're, they're just going to do that. I don't know. We'll see. In J-God we trust. We'll see what the fuck happens. No telling.